Hi guys, my clients have been banging on at me for years to start making hand-painted furniture. So far I've resisted the temptation, mainly because I believe it lacks integrity and the paint finish tends to cover a multitude of sins, mainly the fact it's made in rubbish materials like MDF. So I thought, why not have a go at making some painted furniture with, real, with wood of real integrity and make it with the same level of perfection as I put into my hardwood furniture. This is poplar, North American poplar, more commonly known as tulip wood. This is a very hard, dense and fine grained wood, which means it takes a very good paint finish. It's also very stable, so that means it doesn't tend to warp and twist so much, and so it doesn't crack the paint finish, so it's a really good choice. This is made like all my work with three mortars and tenon joints. This is the ultimate joint. You can see that the tenon goes, or the mortise rather, goes right away through the style. This is the rail with the tenon. That forms the best possible stable joint. You can see the groove in the centre of the, of the style and rail. That takes the panel. So to complete the construction, I use wedges. This is known as a through, it's known as a through wedge mortise and tenon joint. It's the ultimate for strength. And by driving wedges into the through tenon, it actually stops any twist within the door. So it's incredibly stable. This is a frame construction. So the, the frame actually supporting the door is also constructed with more centenary joints. Exactly the same process. Draw front, construct with one piece of tulip wood. So there it is, quality construction made from a quality hardwood that will take a good paint finish and will last a lifetime. So I'm going to glue this together and then we'll slap some paint on and just see what sort of an effect we can get. So I've finished gluing up and wedging the door and frame and the surface of the wood, rather than sanding, I actually scrape the wood which gives a beautiful silky finish as opposed to sanding which tends to, which tends to brutalise the wood. Scraping is much better but it's only possible with a quality hardwood. So this provides a really beautiful silky finish for the paint and the paint is going on really, really smoothly because of the time I spent in the preparation. I'm sealing the bare wood with a water-based primer and after that it will have two coats of, uh, two coats of water-based eggshell which gives a very muted uh, finish, which, which I really, really like. Okay, so I don't see there's any reason for you guys to get bored here, so I think we'll skip on to the next stage, which is two coats 
as a state eggshell. So I, I cut back the prime coat with some sandpaper just to make it smoother and to provide a key for the next two coats. So it's having two coats of eggshell. Um, this paint, this paint is a farrow and ball uh, paint, as you can probably see from the tin. And it's real sophisticated grey colour. Or at least in the farrow and ball shop they said it was sophisticated. I'm not quite so sure, it's actually looking more like cream <laughs> than, uh, than grey at the moment. But apparently this stuff is fantastic quality and apparently it looks different it looks different colours in different light conditions a bit like as rock I suppose and uh, it's made, I love anything natural and this is really eco-friendly, it's water based and it's made with natural natural min minerals and rich pigments and it's really nice stuff so I can't wait to see the finished results. Welcome back. And as you can see, it did turn out grey rather than cream. So panic over. This paint, or this colour rather, is known as Elephant's Breath. And it has a hint of magenta added to the grey, which makes it a more contemporary, warmer grey, rather than the curl flat colour. I really like this. I can see it being used throughout the entire kitchen on all the cabinetry, perhaps with the exception of the island, which could be made as, a, as an autonomous piece and painted in a really rich colour, like a really rich deep blue. I think that would look awesome. I think painted kitchens can be incredibly creative, but I've been really critical of them in the past namely because I think they tend to look cheap and mass-produced. And that's perhaps something to do with the fact that most of them are made using MDF, which is a horrible material, and then spray finished just to actually add to the hideous effect. But I think providing the kitchen structure is made from quality hardwood, and that it's made to the nth degree, that's to say, jointed up correctly so it's structurally sound, and that the paint is applied by hand rather than, a paint, rather than with a spray gun, I think they really do provide a viable alternative to natural wood. And of course they have one major advantage in that the colour of the kitchen can be changed after a few years. Thus keeping up with current trends, keeping the kitchen fresh looking, and there'll be no need to ever buy another kitchen, because all you'd have to do is simply change the colour to keep it looking contemporary. So it's something that really interests me and I'm sure in the future I will be making more handmade, hand-painted kitchen furniture. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.